Salesforce and Trailhead tutorial with myself, Jonathan Fox, and today we are going to be going through the Lightning Web Components for Lightning Data Service module on Trailhead. So today's um, session, we're going to be looking at this Lightning Web Component here, which is a, a, a way to create a contact record using Lightning Web Component. And as we see, if I go ahead and edit the page, what you can what you can see is a simple contact creator uh, lightning web component which we drag drag and drop onto the page super simple so let's over head over to vs code and see how it's all built over in vs code um, i've got three files i've got my uh, html file um, it's dead simple it's got your root template tags. We've got it inside a lightning card to provide that nice look and feel um, for the component using our SLDS. And we are using the lightning record form tag. Part of the lightning record form tag, we need an object API name, the fields that we're going to use on it, and what we're going to do on success. So clicking that save button. Heading over to the JavaScript, we have got various import modules. Um, we're importing Lightning Element, which is required for the Lightning Web Component. We've got a show toast event because we want to show what happens, whether it's created or not, um, upon clicking that. We're importing the object from the Salesforce schema, uh, and we're, we're making sure it is contact, and then we're importing our three fields uh, from the contact, first name, last name, and email address. Now, if we wanted more fields to use, then we just add another few more lines and, and specify which field we want. Exporting here within this curly brace is what we are wanting this, this uh, function to do. So we are going to assign the contact object here, the API, um, what we have actually uh, imported. We're going to assign it to the object API name here and the fields, we're going to assign a, a, an array of fields, the ones that we're using, in the order that we want them to appear on that contact create form. Here, uh, we have our handle success uh, function, which is going to be a toast event. We've just got a constant variable here that we're initializing our show toast um, library, provided to us by Salesforce, which includes the title, which is concrete contact created a message so i'm going to be showing the record id um, and the variant which is of success it gives it that nice green well done kind of message now the event dot detail is from here we're passing in the event now there is an event dot detail or an event dot error uh, the event dot detail is the uh, information around the record created and the event dot error will be anything that happens the error message the the unsuccessful operation and as you can see we then dispatch the event once we've created it here so we actually make it happen and then finally over in our xml we are exposing it and we are exposing it to a lightning app page now just to make it um, link between these two. What we have here is the object API name. As seen there, we've got the fields um, called here within the curly brace as seen there. And we have got the on success handle success as seen there. Now let's quickly head back over to Salesforce. And what we can see is our uh, create form. If we go ahead and create a contact, so we'll just go James Smith, a real generic one. Um, and hit save, we get the contact created in that variant of green with the record ID. That is as simple as our uh, Lightning Web Component is, obviously. Going forward, we are going to be looking at creating a list of records like here and we can look at how we adapt um, these lightning web components to show error messages and to handle 
bit more complex logic. To find out more information and to dive deeper in this, head over to Trailhead and look for the Lightning Web Components for uh, Lightning Data Service module and you will find a walkthrough exactly how to create this. Until next time, thank you very much. Thank you.